I've actually been teaching and, and doing sampling courses for over 50 years. I've seen lots of things in lots of countries. We do see pretty much the same thing everywhere, that uh, sampling systems are one of the main reasons that uh, analyzers don't work. Obviously there's a great need for some additional skills and training and uh, we're trying to do something about that by providing those. The biggest pressure that our customers are facing comes down to manpower. Over the last 20 years probably, the number of actual bodies on site has gone down and down and down and customers have to manage with less and less people. It used to be not so long ago that every plant had an analyzer engineer who was responsible for making sure all of the analyzers worked. Almost no plants have analyzer engineers anymore. And so when there is a problem, it's very hard to first detect the problem and then secondly understand how you can get the problem solved. The legend has been around for a long time that sampling systems account for 80% of analytical problems. It's probably a lot worse than that now because the process analyzers have got a whole lot better but the sampling systems are pretty much the same as they were 50 years ago. Unfortunately, the analyzer can only analyze the sample that you give it. If the sample system is not bringing that uh, correct sample to the analyzer, it's not gonna work. What we try to offer is a training program which would help people to understand, at least be aware of the problems and know they have one if they do, and also ultimately the ability to fix those, those problems.